Hi, I'm Doug. I work with 20 great guys in St. Louis at Doug Jenkins Custom Hot Rods, and we're going to do some work for you today on Expert Village. So Dave's got a piece of tape on the uh, pipe bender where he's kind of keeping track of his measurements so that when he bends the other side, it kind of matches. Um, no sense uh, uh, guessing on everything on both sides of the car. It's important when working with this really large diameter pipe that your bends be as gradual as possible. Three inch pipe would just as soon uh, fold up and pucker up and make a big mess as it would bend. So we try to make our bends uh, as far ahead of time as possible and uh, make them uh, as slight as possible. He's got the pipe laying on the floor, so he's, uh, it's a good flat plane, so he can make sure that the apex of his bend is, uh, of all of his bends are parallel. So you can see here on the bender, you kind of have to guess where level is, but he made a mark while it was on the floor. Uh, that'll help him keep it level. And you can see even with those gradual bends he's making, we still end up with a pretty substantial deformation of the pipe. The only solution to that deformation of the pipe, uh, wherever the pipe gets smaller like that, it hurts the uh, performance of the car, it slows down the exhaust gases. The only solution is a uh, mandrel bent exhaust system. You can buy pre-bent pieces and cut and piece them together. 